Hello and welcome back to Terraria Highlights 1.2 patch version 1.2.0.2 Last time, um, I didn't have as much progress as I am now because I actually recorded an episode in between but there are some failings in this episode. You can see that the house is slightly bigger now. Um, the failings, num failing number one is the episode was 40 minutes long and nothing happened at all. So failing number two, I didn't record the audio so... It would have been a very, very silent and lonely episode. Thus, they decided to say, "Heh, let, let's just do another episode, huh?" So here we are with Lauren on Lauren. No, this is not Lauren. Yeah, I actually checked and I loaded up character Lauren in the world. Lauren, Lauren, you're a moron. Uh, anyway, today's goal is to get NPCs. Uh, as you can see, I have 140 health. I have enough money to, to have a merchant. In fact, uh, right now we have only the guide. There was the merchant and there was the nurse. Problem is that the last night was a blood moon and everybody was slaughtered. Sad. <clears throat> also, the demolitionist can be acquired, but uh, first we have to build an extension to our house. And to do that, we'll need some more wood. So let's get the... Let's get to it! There we go. Humphrey the merchant has arrived. Perfect. And here we are, it's almost done. Now, I know what you might think, and that is, why is there a campfire in a possible future room of the house? And in an oversized room, that is. It's because, mostly because I have the feeling this is gonna be a die. It is a die. I have the feeling it is, at least. Let me check. Um, where is the die? Where did the die go? Blueberries can be placed, used to make blue dye, yeah. So, my thought was, uh, I like having good houses, good looking houses, so I was like, hey, let's, let's do like a giant meat hall of the Norse, ye Norse, gods, yeah. Um, so I decided to do something like this, I really like how it should be looking, I was thinking about it and I believe it's going to be good looking, so. First and foremost, we're going to need to, to do some chairs. And a couple of tables. Just because I want to use lots of things. Stuff like that, you know. And a table here. And here. It's only one NPC can join in this room anyway, but, you know, it's always nice to have a bigger room. Like a giant meat hole, as I said. Now, let's make the roof. And this house is going to be extended, don't worry. Especially underground. But for now, I feel like this is going to be fine. Just about, just about fine. Probably going to make a second floor to this place too. Just because I think I, I know how it's going to look. But, you know, that's the general idea. Let's make a door. Probably will be replaced with an iron door later on. But for now this is going to be fine. Alright, so let's make some wallings and I will join you once this room is done. Be right back. And I finally built it. I noticed that it wasn't really symmetric, so I had to actually um, increase the size of it by one block. But it wasn't that bad. Now, this is going to be how more or less it's going to look. I think I'm gonna later on paint it once I get the painter, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, without further ado, the house is complete. We have for the time being at least. We have uh, four NPCs already, with one that should be joining once we build another room, that being the dye merchant. And <clears throat> after we... Uh, well, since we did this, and since it's night time, approaching night time, I decided that we should be actually going to spelunking a bit. And no, I'm the, I don't mean the game, I actually mean Terraria spelunking. And I explored the caves a little bit more after last time, especially after, you know, the failed recording session. And there wasn't a lot of things, aside from a boulder trap that almost squished me to hell. But I dodged it like a pro, and by dodging like a pro I mean I was lucky. Um, but other than that, it's pretty annoying, boring caves that don't have much else to explore. So we're gonna go into this place and possibly connect into here. Uh, there is a blink root there, not that it interests me right now, but hey, it's always, you know, good to know the options. Now, uh, we're going to try and uh, use some sort of trick in order to 
not get water in here. Huh. Uh, possibly the best way would be to... Let's play some dirt. Ow. Warm, stop it. I'm not even your friend. Some water is going to fall down, sadly, because, you know... Actually, I might be able to take the water out. Wait a second, I'm gonna try to drain it now. With an advanced mining technique that done. Ow! Come on! Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Oh, god damn it. Mushroom! Wait, I have to put these potions closer. Okay, things might kill me here, so I apologize in advance if that happens. Okay, they don't. Okay. Now we go down here. The water should drain the little hole. And we're able to reach this part of the cavern safely. And by safely, I mean almost dead, but hey. At least we reached it, right? Now let's try to deal with these slimes without dying. That would be optimal. Okay, we get some health. And I'll join you once I find something out of this. And that, my dear viewers, is Platinum. So we, are gener we have generated a world where only iron and copper are old ores. And Platinum and Tungsten are the new ores. So that's actually very fortunate of me. Um, I must admit I'm quite lucky in this case. Not terribly lucky, but hey. I, I say an awful lot of but haze. Pro tip. But yeah. But, 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 but. Why, why do I say but so much? It's not like, you know, it's a nice world or anything. Especially with double T, it's not a nice world. But anyway. Oh my god. Please make me stop saying that word! I have to advance my vocabulary, generate new words, do something for me, please. You're making me nervous after I say such words so long. We found some platinum there, without any butts. And uh, that's a good ore. It makes a good armor, I believe slightly better than gold. I believe though it might be slightly harder to get than gold. It's a bit rarer than gold. At least I had the feeling in my previous game. So after this long mining we all we find is a little red slime in a little little cave formation here. Ow! It might slaughter me too. What I want to reach though is possibly the lower caves. But I want to reach it in a natural way, not in a forced way, like straight down line, but I guess we're failing that dramatically so might as well just Mine downwards and see what happens, right? That, that, that's that's what I don't like too much about it, I guess. I want to have a large cave close to my house and apparently yeah, we're failing at that, but I'm going to make an artificial excavation downwards. I think I heard a growl and that's some iron. Might as well pick it up. Growls usually mean skeletons or zombies. It could be both because nighttime was approaching as I was going downwards. And uh, also, we are quite deep right now. We're yeah, we're about one tenth, one about one tenth, yes, of the total height. Maybe one eight even of the total height. Large quantity of stone makes me think that we are actually approaching the lower caves. And there is an opening there. Not only one opening. There is also a golden chest. And oh my god, we're lucky. I uh, slime statue, uh, Hermes boots. Heisty! Heisty! Hey, hasty! Hermes boots, not heisty. Uh, hasty Hermes boots, which is always nice. Uh, a golden chest. We have a slime statue, which is actually very useful later on if we're going to farm uh, for flamethrowers or something like that. Flamethrower requires gel, and slimes can be summoned through the slime statues, and you know. Farms, essentially, but we need still the crab. There's more pl platinum here, which is always nice. Uh, we need a crab to make uh, the uh, so-called uh, farm, the, the most efficient way to farm resources like goldfishes and stuff like that. Goldfish. Fish Pro tip, fish doesn't have uh, plural forms. It's fish and fish. Okay, so this is a larger cave, and look at that, that's a crab statue, that's incredibly lucky. <laughs> I can't even emphasize. 
I actually got lucky even when I was recording the first impression, as I got a crap statue there too. And again, as I'm recording, I'm getting a crab statue again. It's one of the those statues that help you so much with indirectly, just because someone was so clever at the Terraria online forums to figure out how the crab farm works, and it's really, really good. It's the best way to create a farm out of it. And we have 160 health. We'll have to be careful soon, because if we reach a certain quantity of health, the Eye of Cthulhu might be summoned. Not only that, but... Uh, it might be possible that even the Goblin Army arrives now with the new NPCs available. And this is the Lower Caves. If you didn't understand it already by the presence of bats... Bats... Uh, that word... Bats mean... Oh, I don't have any torches. Bats usually mean that we are approaching the Lower Caves, which is always nice. There's some iron ore, which we're going to try to land on. There's a lot of cobweb, but I want to be careful here, no! Oh god. I'm alive! I'm alive, guys! I'm fine. I'm fine. So, what is the uh, goal in this place? The best we could hope for is to get a hook from a, a skeleton as soon as we can, essentially. So that we can actually make a grappling hook. And grappling hook is basically going to be our permanent replacement for ropes. Ropes at that point of the game become obsolete, but I can understand the usefulness of ropes early game, and I must say that I'm pleasantly surprised by how efficient they are. So let's take it slowly. Alright, I've done mining here, some iron, there was iron here and copper here too, so that was really good. Uh, got quite a lot of... Now, now I'm a bit afraid of this lady m slime, big lady slime that might cause me some trouble, so what I'm gonna try to do is grenade her to death, if I have a grenade quickly available that I cannot find. Such a slob, sorry, wait a second, ah, there it is. There, that takes care of it. You know, sometimes you just don't want to have trouble. There's tungsten down there, which is always nice. Oh, worms, worms making trouble. Let's take this tungsten. There is a uh, red uh, conchillion, or whatever it's called, scarab, which is also a source of dyes, of red dyes. It might be purple dye, though, I'm not too sure. Uh, the red scarab is red dye, the purple scarab is purple dye, obviously enough, but I feel like the red scarabs should be in the caves, the purple scarabs should be in the underground jungle, but. Hey. Oh! Yep, that hurts. Let's take care of this trap right away. You see there? The face. The face! Okay. There is a mushroom, a teal mushroom, I believe, or a green mushroom. We're going to use the rope now to climb upwards. Um, I didn't kill any skeleton yet, so I couldn't have gotten a hook from anything. Uh, let's try to outrun this bot. Get to a safety- oh, god, that was scary. I was just about to say, let's get to a safe place. Let's toss a uh, glow stick here. There's some more platinum and tungsten, which makes me really, really happy. Just the more we can get out of the here, the better it is, really. Basically, now we're into the core of the early game, which is all the way up to the platinum and gold tier. Which is really good. I really, really like it. Oh, let's see now. Okay, so I made it all the way up here after a few troubles down there. A bat tossed me straight down. I thought I would die, but luckily enough, I landed straight on cobweb, so that was really, really fortunate. Now I'm gonna try to take that cobweb off the wall, or rather the ceiling, with my blowpipe. There we go. Perfect. What is going on up here? I have to remind myself that I have the shoe spikes, so it makes it much easier to climb upwards. Although that might be rope worthy. So let's try to hop down here. Let's try not to die by the bat. There we go. And now let's try to rope. I think if I rope... Oh, wait a second. Ow! 
swear to god having no cobalt shield or any equivalent to the cobalt shield is a big handicap oh no okay there isn't really anything of interest up there so let's go straight down or rather try to without dying there's a lot of black like, slimes as well as um, skeletons as well as jellies as there's a lot of things so what I'm gonna try to do is uh, toss a grenade straight down here in hopes that it's going to hit something it's not well at least I'm gonna kill that black slime that sneak snuck behind me he thought that he could get me little did he know that I would toss a grenade on his face okay that guy is taken care of so let's try to take care of this dude and now I should be able to platform my way out of here if the bat allows me kindly. I can take the till mushroom, which is always nice. Jump over here and uh, see what there is some uh, platinum there. So let me take that up. Oh, that's interesting. See that? That's a boulder. And that means that straight down there, there should be a boulder trap. Or rather, a trigger for the boulder trap. What I'm going to do now is essentially get into here. This bat got stuck somehow. Silly bat. We're gonna destroy the boulder so nothing at all will happen to fall down on my head once I go downwards. Uh, let's toss a glow stick. There appears to be some... Uh, um, uh, what's the name? The, the purple gem. Amethyst! So we can take those once we can. But let's take care first of these two guys, if at all possible. If not, I die happily. You can see that there is a switch here. Okay. Let's take these amethysts now. Skeleton fell somewhere in the depths. Sad for his life, but hey. A return to the origins. With but hey. Ugh! Stupid Laura. Stupid! I can't see! Now I see. I'm um, some iron. Not that many things. Everything's fine, I guess. Okay, let's mine downwards. Take this little copper patch. Even if I actually am collecting uh, an outstanding quantity of platinum right now, copper is not something to be uh, forgotten easily. I mean, I already have a copper uh, cuirass, or a breastplate, or whatever it's called. Meaning that uh, with two other pieces that is going to cost me about 25 bars, I get a set bonus, so that's really nice. You never underestimate the low materials, you know? Never. In fact, I should have built a wooden armor first, and that's a lot of emeralds. That is an outstanding amount of emeralds. Hopefully it's more than 10. Because I'd like to see if I can make a hook out of the gems. That's emerald, yes. Let's take away this green mushroom, we don't really need it at this point of the game. Uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13? 12, actually. I, I counted wrong there, but hey. Everything's fine. Lots of water here. Need to be careful. We don't want to die casually. I believe that is actually platinum, so we are going to go down here. First, let's kill this guy. And after that, we take the plat after we take the platinum, I believe I'm just going to quit for the day. I believe we did quite a bit today. We were very lucky. With the you know, mining as well as the possible potential farming that we're gonna get much later on. You'll see. You'll see. Of course a goldfish would also come in handy. Goldfish statue more specifically would come much more in handy than a uh, jelly statue or not, not a jelly statue, what am I even talking about? Rather than a... is there water here or is there... there's a lot of water there, yeah. A goldfish statue earns you more money than gel. That's what I'm saying. Okay, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here with me jumping down here, doing a leap of faith. 
but I think I'm gonna quit before that, so it's not that really matters. Thanks everybody for watching, and join me next time as we'll probably be building our first platinum tools. Until then, be well. Bye! Oh wait, 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 wait. Don't buy yet. Drink a potion. Drink a potion, you might need it. Oh my god. Ugh. Diamonds! Gems! Oh god. This was really actually a good idea not to pause it. Diamonds. Lots of diamonds and topuses. Oh god. That's really lucky. I, I've actually seen that there was a patch of air here. So I decided to check it out. And it figures it's topuses and diamonds. Is, that doesn't really make any English sense, but hey. I say a lot of but hey's. Stop me. Find a better way to say things other than but hey, please. I'll be forever grateful. We're getting more than... 10 uh, diamonds. We might be having enough for a diamond um, hook, which is always nice. So let me do this really quickly, and then I'm going to wrap it up. I swear. That's actually a very, very good stroke of luck. I'm really lucky here. Let's get these diamonds. Also, topuses. I shouldn't underestimate the topuses. Topaz, topazes? Is that the mold? I guess it doesn't have a plural form. Topaz. Topaz, two topaz, three topaz, diamond. Diamond definitely has it. Sapphires, emeralds, rubies. Topazes? I'm not sure. If someone knows, please tell me in the comment section. Possibly not in a couple of years because. I literally happen to have some comments in the, my older videos with people telling me what a few words in English mean. A, tight, a tad bit too late, but hey. But hey. Oh, horrible way of expressing oneself. We've made 18 diamonds and 15 topuses. Either way, thanks everybody for watching and join me next time as we'll try to acquire a hook. Whether it's going to be a gem hook or a normal hook, grappling hook. Until then, be well. Bye! This was a loud and gaming show. Thanks for watching!